Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for episode six of season one of the Umbrella Academy. The last episode kind of got us a little bit more of uh, Five's background as we learn, you know, kind of what he was doing while he was in this uh, future post-apocalyptic uh, hellscape. Um, he ended up getting recruited by this like time agency, the monitors that protects the timeline to keep them on the sacred path. <laughs> I love these shows, man. There's a, everybody's got like their own different interpretation of like the the the, the bureaucracy that keeps the timelines uh, it organized. No matter what the case, the outcome, you know, we got to stay on course. And five is working while working with them, biding his time to figure out how to get back and prevent this apocalypse. Um, becomes one of their agents, and that's one of the reasons why they are very fervently trying to capture him and bring him in in all this thing when they send Hazel and Cha-Cha after him. But, um, you know, he ends a, he's able to orchestrate some events to call forth his recruiter again to the situation and barter a deal to spare his family, at least, and uh, in exchange for going back with them. So that's kind of where the episode ended. You know, we saw in the episode before last that uh, the their briefcase that allows them to time travel ended up in uh, Klaus's hands, and he opened it thinking there was something in it he could sell or pawn off and ended up getting transported to Vietnam where he spent a year, fell in love, and has now become a veteran. Little bit matured, teeny bit, teensy bit matured. Um, and then on the flip side, Leonard is hiding a dead body, the body of the first chair at, uh, <laughs> at Vanya's orchestra so that she would be able to audition to fill that chair. He's also been stealing her medication so that she would stop being uh, fogged out in a way, of, a manner of speaking, which is somehow awake, awoken some kind of unknown latent a power that she may have or some entity or something that could be living within her. I equated this, if you guys are familiar with Doom Patrol at all, it kind of gave me some negative spirit vibes I don't know yet. We'll have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, he's got a he's got the their father's journal in his attic, as well as Helen's body, and knows a lot more about Vanya than he's letting on. So while Allison, I feel like her her leap and her uh, the amount of which she was suspicious was a little imbalanced. She was right. But like I feel like she uh, she definitely kind of jumped the gun based on the evidence she had at hand. But lucky for her, luck, lucky for us, she stooped up the right tree, and maybe her suspicion, maybe subconsciously, where Vanya isn't aware and she's pushing through that whatever this is latently inside Vanya heard that concern and is doing the investigating for them. So I'm curious to see how that progresses because it also snoops on. Uh, Pogo uh, repairing their mother and was like, we can't tell the kids. Do you remember what happened? We can't let them find out. So they're also hiding something. So I think, I don't know what's going on, man. I really don't. But with that said, I can't wait to jump back into this show because I am really kind of hooked on it at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and hop in. If you want to see the full length reaction to this or any of the previous episodes, you can check those out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gives you access as well. Helps us expand and improve the channel. You also get the same thing for all the other shows we cover here and you get to suggest and vote on what movies react to here on the channel as well. We've got monthly Q&As, behind the scenes footage, trying to make it worth your while since you are going out of your way to support the channel. But of course, I know not everybody can do that and a simple way can help us out is just by liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing these videos because it really does go a long way with helping the channel grow here on YouTube. And if you're new, if you're tuning in for the first time, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you do, stick around, hit the subscribe button, maybe even leave a like, I really appreciate it. But that all said, guys, let's go ahead and hop into episode six, the day that wasn't. Here we go. Oh, are we gonna see what Klaus actually went through? Yes. They said it was 1968. <laughs> Dude, I bet this is gonna ra definitely raise some questions for these guys. Oh, no time for questions. <laughs> 
Dude, poor Klaus, man. He just can't catch a break. I'm Dave. Hmm. Klaus. Yeah, keep that well away from anybody else. Oh, he's dumping his meth. It would look blue too, so I don't know. <laughs> that was about, was that a little Easter egg or no? We need to talk. You, me, and the others. So meet me in the living room. That sounds like a real rager, but my schedule's already chock full. So. Yeah, no time for that. The world's ending in three days. <laughs> what did Five even see? Uh. We all fought together against whoever was responsible. Okay, so we go through dad's research. Wait a tick, wait a tick. What actually happened the first time around? Yeah, what are you not telling us? Uh, we died. What was that? I said, uh, we died. I think that was my favorite one so far. Contract to kill number five terminated. <laughs> kill Hazel. Terminate oh, Hazel. fuck. <laughs> uh, I, I was joking. 55. Hazel and Cha-Cha, for example, are talented, certainly, but... I can't see the that looks like the observatorium where Hannibal filmed a, a murder. All the people on this floor are case managers, each one responsible for one major event. Oh my lord. And it's based in 1955. Interesting. Why am I doing this? I just feel like every time I see them, I come away feeling like there's less of me. Things are different now. You got me. I'm a sunny to your share. Oh, no. You getting first chair is a huge accomplishment. You did it all by yourself. So it's the right thing to invite them to the concert. They need to see how talented you are, okay? Okay, Sonny. Let's do this. <sighs> he made a Sonny and Cher reference, and he's a villain. Why? <laughs> Damn it. What's going on? It's a family matter. So of course you couldn't bother to include me. No, it's not like that. We were. Please don't let me interrupt. Vanya, wait. I'll fill you in later when we're alone. Please, please don't bother. I have been left out of everything for as long as I can remember. And I used to think it was dad's fault, but he's dead. So it turns out you're the assholes. Vanya, wait. Wait, I left my jacket. I can't go back there. Okay, go ahead. I'll catch up to you. What is he up to, man? He just wanted to come into this house. Well, I'm going after Hazel and Cha-Cha. What, right now? Hell yeah. Three days and I'm losing life by the minute. Wait, Diego, look. I'm sorry. So what? You're giving up on the world too? Yeah, pretty much. It just does. No, it's just him. Fuck. <sighs> I have to book a flight back to LA. Yeah. If this happens, I have to be with my daughter. Custody be damned, and you said it yourself. We need the full force of the Academy. I can't believe I was stupid enough to go back there. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have made you do it. No, it's my fault. I just wanted them to maybe be proud of me for once. How, how can I even... What is going on? Vanya, what? You happened. Come on. I mean, it, it was like this before. <laughs> you sure? That's a coincidence. Leonard, it's impossible. You, uh, you mind? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll tie that up if you tie me up after. <laughs> what? You know, last time I was sober was that roaring good time when those freaks had me tied up in a motel room. Wow. 
So how's your first day going? Couldn't be better. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I'm feeling peckish. Have you had your lunch? Not yet. Great. How would you like to lunch with me? I can live vicariously through you. Sounds great. <laughs> She giving him the long drive. Uh. Would it really be so bad if we didn't find the briefcase? Uh, yeah. You know what happens to people who step out of line? One way or another, they always get you. That was a that was a car backfire. That wasn't a gunshot. Both? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, both? <laughs> She really rocks that suit, man. You hungry? I could eat. Why don't you go relax? I'll bring us some uh, takeout. I never even looked at them. Wow. After your accident, he wanted to give you purpose, Master Luther. He felt that this was the only way. What? <laughs> Shanghai me on the moon for four years? I was not good enough, number one. Wow. So he sent me away? No, no, that's not oh, it. No. Please, leave me alone. Must now, please, get out! Wow. Whoa, where'd you get those? My methods must remain mysterious. Just in case. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> It's, um, it's for you. Is it just to be kind of charming about the camping trip they're kind of having in the... Do you like it? Greenhouse? I'll never take it off, Luther Hargreaves. Will you dance with me? Number one. Oh. Number three. This is highly unacceptable behavior. You both know that fun and games are restricted to Saturdays. <laughs> Never. Dude, fuck this guy. If I see a boner, I'm out. <laughs> End of the world that you want to get sober all of a sudden. There's something I need to do, and the whole pesky thing doesn't seem to work unless I'm sober. This is about conjuring the one you lost. What was her name? His name was Dave. Well, Dave must have been a very special person to put up with all your weird ass shit. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was kind and strong and vulnerable and foolish enough to follow him all the way to the front line. You fought the shit? Oh yeah, baby. How oh, they let you do that? Let me. The war couldn't take enough bodies, please. Ah, oh, shit! What? I need to pee. <laughs> Look, if I was special, I would have been in the Umbrella Academy. I'm so sorry you got stuck with the ordinary one. Ordinary is not a word I'd use to describe you. Look, we'll figure it out as a team. My life is so weird. I like weird. <laughs> you distill an entire decade into a single candy. This one's modeled after the fudge mutt. God, I would wonder what that would taste like. Sorry to interrupt, ma'am. I'm a moment <gasps> alone. Of course. She get a disruption from five again. Can I show you something? What? What is it? Just, just come with me. You know, it is the end of the world. She could be like, I heard a rumor. Or we got back together and stopped this thing. I know, be a bit of a moral quandary, but the fucking world's about to end. 
make them all work together. <laughs> He's a little bigger than he was back then, man. Are these? Yep, they're very same. Those couldn't still be good, though, right? Cheers. I am so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I've watched enough, enough uh, Good Mythical Morning to know really old cans don't always stay, stay fresh. You know... Now that Dad's not here to catch us, we can go anywhere we want. In the house, in the courtyard. The real world. You're right. You wanna get out of here? I like that that didn't even cross her mind. You can squeeze you in. <laughs> They're cute, man. They really are. Oh, or maybe they, the thing that Dot was bringing in was them. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No, 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 just, no, I don't no, think no. so. That's not how it works. Nope, sit Diego, down. Diego, Diego, listen, sit. just listen. Just listen. Oh! <laughs> I can conjure her for you. Stop. Patch. You can't no. conjure shit until you're clean. And I don't want to see her until I can tell her that I buried the bastards that killed her. This <laughs> is for next time. Puke, pee, whatever you need. Multi-purpose. What's the last thing you remember? Oh, let's see. March 21st. Do you remember anything else? No. Oh, I suppose that's all. Mm. It would be nice to go to the park. I never let you off the grounds. <laughs> Your father isn't here anymore. Maybe Pogo knows what happened. And what he doesn't want her to tell anybody is that she also remembers. He's just trying to shelter them a little bit from themselves and from the world. Will you dance with me? Aww. God damn, get it. How's reality going to crash them into this? I should have done that a long time ago. I'm an idiot. No, you're not. I mean, a little. If we leave now, we can make that flight. We. Go! Go, dummy! Go! He, yeah! The handler knows that five is up to something. Get this to Hazel and Cha Cha immediately. Uh, immediately. Okay. Oh, no, it was five. Oh. Project Harold Jenkins. Oh. He wrote the. The command. Oh, he sent them each one. You're a great disappointment to me. You belong here with us. I don't belong anywhere thanks to you. You made me a killer. I just pointed you in a direction. Dad was wrong for keeping you locked up all those years. I should have said something. Poco and I, we've been lying. Lying to all of you. Mm. Throw this stuff in the dryer. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Pill bottle. No. Uh, oh, worse.
Oh, shit. He knew she had a power, but maybe it was too dangerous. I need to go back and relate, like, reread that. There were notes on sedating and suppressing her power. Unlimited potential, I think, was one of the lines. He was afraid of what could happen with Vanya. Not to you. Oh! Hot. Ho 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 ho! Dude! No. No! No! What's happening? No! He reset all of it! Shit. Thing the first time around. Remember? Close. What did he change? What we'll gives us a win this time? Oh. Jesus. So the apocalypse is in three days. The only chance we have to save our world is, well, us. So if y'all don't get your sideshow acts together and get over yourselves, we're screwed. Who cares if Dad messed us up? Are we gonna let that define us? Come back with the lead. I know who's responsible for the apocalypse. Harold Jenkins? Who the hell is Harold Jenkins? Eat shit. No, fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. There's so much character growth. There's so much. What was the mother about to reveal? Why have they been lying? Vanya realized she had powers. She found the journal. I mean, obviously that would get Leonard in trouble. Why do you have the journal? And that would have backfired there for him. But. She would have known that he was not just making, a sh making it up. Flip's desk. Damn it. That's all undone. Unlimited potential. I didn't read any of the other lines that was on there. I wonder if I can find that spot real quick. There it is. Let's see. What all, what all was on there? I'm going to actually catch it this time. Number seven. Um, be unlimited, uncontrollable, and dangerous. Should remain a secret. Mood-altering medication to keep her sedated. But she's gonna this this revelation is gonna be deleted. Same with that little moment with Diego and uh, Klaus and Klaus getting sober and the the reconciliation between Allison and Luther, Diego and his mother, the revelation of uh, Luther's moon mission being a sham, all of it undone. And this, like, I, what, do you, what would you call it? Spy versus spy situation that Five is manufactured between Cha Cha and Hazel. So he wrote both of those commands to kind of, I guess, to keep them just occupied, uh, or maybe even in the hopes that one or the other would kill the kill themselves or get themselves killed in the situation. Um, or it was just to kind of keep them busy while he did everything else. And then, you know, played the system. I don't know how they could. I don't. I really don't know. For people who monitor time, I know they're outside of time or whatever. But, like, him going back, like, that's one of the things about this, man. It was like, him eventually succeeding should have been on the map. On the map. It should have been in the memo. They should have been able to figure that out. But, regardless, whatever. It's fun. And he gamed the system. I still don't know how they, how or why they even entertained the fact of trusting him. But every little thing was a setup to him making his way to take out the his handler to take out um their or at least that division's briefcase 
stuff to get the name of the person who insta uh, like uh, actually provokes and starts and initiates the apocalypse is Harold Jenkins, whoever that might be. I wonder if that's tied to Leonard at all um, in some way. Um, I don't remember what his last name was. I know we saw it last episode, but I don't recall what it was. He's not the Herald, but I don't know. But the Klaus opening up about this love that he found during Vietnam, that, that scene, like, really hit me, man. It really did. And then them bonding over their shared loss when he was talking to Diego, who lost, um, you know, the, uh, shoot, I already, I'm blanking on her name at the moment. Um, you know, the, the cop, his cop friend that he had a previous relationship, Eudora, that he had a relationship with, you know, it's like, but I, I don't want to see her until I know I've put these people that killed her in the ground. I'm curious to see how that's going to go, because I do think that they're setting up maybe Haas, uh, Haas, 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 Cha-Cha and Hazel as a potential turncoats in the end. I feel like those are, like, initial vill villains who are probably going to either become, like, anti-heroes or come back into the fold. I mean, they've already got their doubts about their mission. Hazel more than Cha-Cha. She doesn't seem to be too thrilled with him having... Uh, a side squeeze at all at this point either and like maybe that's the motivation behind it maybe she feels like that's why he's been acting the way he's doing or whatever and using that as a way to kind of also get her in trouble by turning her against the organization I don't know but this was a fun episode it I forgot like most of the way through this that it was the day that that wasn't and I kept forget I I thought that meant the title what meant that the day that the the planned date that Luther and Allison didn't get to have that was interrupted by their father and that I thought this was them reliving that but then it was literally this entire day got undone in the present oh uh, and whatever what is Vanya's actual power don't tell me um because there's this thing that leaves her body and exists in a way kind of separate from her but at the same time she has like a psionic effect on the world around her pulling in those lampposts in her emotional state shaking the cars blocking out the rain wow i can't wait to see him manifest fully and with her aware of it elliot page he does a phenomenal job in this uh He's always been a talented actor, though, to, like, let's be honest. But, like, I just feel so bad for this character. Because Leonard is so good at being everything she really always wanted, or at least wanted to hear somebody to actually validate her existence. And the way that he plays off of Elliot in this, like, it's just so... Skeezy, like I can't. I know he's doing shady shit, but at the same time, he's making her feel good. And I'm just like, ah, ah. and then I'm just like, ah, damn it, ah, it's not real, it's a scam. But at the same time, I'm like, she's happy, damn it, it hurts, it just hurts. I hate it, I love it, but I hate it. The plot thickens, man. The plot thickens. I want to know. So her father did know. And I want to know what Pogo and Mother are keeping a secret. I don't know. But uh, Le Leonard did kind of like goad her into going to the house to invite her friends, her family, to her performance. So that was his way of getting in there. I'm sure, I don't know if he's like a super mega fan of the Umbrella Academy or he's got some, he's got his own connection to Roderick Hargraves, having the journal, knowing about them, things that they shouldn't know. And he specifically went in there to take that. He When he was in there, he took that figure from their little glass casing that was of the father. So I'm wondering what that's about. Is he obsessed with the father? Is he maybe an illegitimate child, like non-powered, like actual child of the father? 
Or is he just like a super fan who's just like using Vanya to get access to this treasure trove of information about the Umbrella Academy? Like one of those like super fans that just doesn't know where the like where to like actually draw the line between being a fan and being just a weird as fuck. I don't know. But guys, I enjoyed this episode quite a lot, so we're going to go ahead and pass it off to you guys. What do you think of the episode? Sound off the comments and let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Feel free to join us in our Discord. We can talk about it there as well. Links to that in all my social description box below. If you want to see the full-length reaction, remember you can check it out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. And speaking up before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan, Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Melita, Robert Angriano, and Raven McGann. Thank you guys so much continued support but that's it for this episode guys i'll see you all next week with the next one take care everybody